So let's check the Red Wiggler Nursery. Oh, they're enjoying all the chow. They're doing good. So I left this soaking overnight. And uh, it's still wet, so I'm going to have to fluff this up because as you can see, it's gotten like flatter. And then we'll see what the moisture is like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I go in and work with the worms, I need to do some stuff in the garden, but I wanted to show you this company, High C or Hycea, I'm not sure how you say their name. They send me these boots to try out and I wanted to try them out first before I gave you like my honest review. I will say I'm very impressed with these boots. First of all, look at this. I was able to get them in buffalo plaid. You all know I love buffalo plaid. And what I like about them is that they're waterproof. So last week when I went to the garden, it had rained and I stepped on the ground with my, my Crocs on, my fake Crocs, and my entire shoe got full of water. And I'm like, oh. So I went in and I got my boots and yeah, they withstood the wetness in the garden and I worked with them in the warm room and they're fine. Um, they come in black and all kinds of colors. And this is another thing I like about them. Sometimes my calf will bother me here for whatever reason. It's the type of socks I put. So I'm able to do this. You can fold them down and wear them like an ankle boot how cool is that <laughs> they're not hard and stiff because i can't wear hard shoes they just bug me a lot um i think they're pretty neat i give them a thumbs up so since they send me these and this is a sponsored video but you know i always give you my honest opinion um they're going to include a discount code that's going to be in the description in case you guys want to um try them out now i've been waiting for fall to really really use them i've been using them inside and around the house i am going to try them out in the winter um, because you know we get snow and ice here just to see how they do but from what i can feel in here they're well insulated and i really think they're going to do well and they're look they're not thin they're kind of thick so today i'm going to go in the garden a little bit and i'm going to wear them and we're going to try them out and then I'm gonna wear them in the worm room and we're gonna try them out. I've worn them in the worm room before and I noticed that they're not slippery. Um, I really enjoy them. I think they're really nice. You should uh, give them a try, especially since uh, they're offered you a discount code. All right, guys, let's give them a try. Look, guys. They fit really nice. I love them. They're so comfortable. I wish I would have had these years ago. Because there is another brand out there named, I believe it's Muck. They're way more expensive than these. These are very reasonably priced. And, you know, I love the fact that they can fold down. That's pretty awesome. Let's fold them down and see what they look like. very cute they have them in pink they got them for guys they got them for girls they got them in all kinds but i love buffalo plaid so i'm glad that they had that one so i could pick it up so let's go over to the garden i'm gonna wear them as i do stuff and uh we'll get going on that I will say they are very comfortable. Look, I'm finding peppers. Oh my gosh, that gate just opened and closed by itself. Ah, spooky season's here. Oh, I'm telling you, there are so many weird things that happen in this garden. Look how nice the 
peppers have exploded. I have a lot of basil here. I'm going to have to make some pesto. Um, oh, a tomato hornworm. Boy, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Let's go see them. Look at all the leaves eaten. You can tell there's one in here when you see damage like that. And I saw him from the other side. They just gross me out so bad. Ooh, I don't want to touch one. I don't know where it is now. <laughs> tell you I'm kicking everything around and they are living up to the task oh where is it yikes that's awesome I found him and he is big Ooh, look at that those little white things are all parasitic something that actually kills the worm when I first saw these things a million years ago, I thought they were the babies, but they're not. He's the one that's wreaking havoc on everything in here. Like, you see that damage? But he hasn't gotten some of these peppers, so I'm going to be able to salvage him. He seems to be only going after the leaves. So if you see one of them, guys, it's time to get rid of it. Yuck. Well, while I wait for Izzy to go get me my gloves because I forgot them, I'm going to try my new boots and go this way, and we're going to check on the pumpkin. Now, you see pumpkin leaves like this and stems, they have all these little pinchy things that if you touch it with your hand, it's, oh, you're, you're going to regret it. But as you can see, this pumpkin stem is drying up. That means it's finished, basically. So let's come over here and check out the volunteer gift from my garden. Oh, how pretty. Big too. Ooh, the worms are gonna love that. Look, all of this has to come down. I cannot do this without gloves. It's torture, don't ever touch. Don't ever touch it with, without gloves. A lot of these tomatoes are green. I'm going to pick them off and they're going to just ripen inside on the counter. I've been doing that and it's fine because we already had a frost the other night and I'm afraid if the frost comes back before I get them, um, I'm going to lose them. Even the green ones are going to go. I'm surprised I didn't find any uh, tomato hornworms on the tomatoes, but you know, I'm sure they were there, but my time was limited. so. Look at the nasturtiums, how pretty. Their garden, their color is awesome. So let's see how many peppers we can find without touching that thing. Ooh, I hate them. These are called cubanellis. My mom said that in Cuba, she used to cook with these peppers instead of bell peppers. Um, so of course, ever since then and this was years ago i started growing these and i really love them for cooking they really give a great flavor they're really nice i slice them in strips and then i um slice some onions and i saute it in a pan with the sausage and then we make peppers and onions so i'm sure there's going to be more of these here um, but I'm doing everything in my power to avoid that thing. I know I'm a worm lady. I like worms inside, but I don't like him. <laughs> He's gross. Now, even though they have that thing that looks like a stinger, it doesn't sting. It looks menacing, though. So I'm just going to toss him away over there. There you go. Go do your thing over there. These Cubanelli peppers, they, um, oh, I thought there was another one. They grow 
it's kind of slow in the beginning and then all of a sudden when the season's gonna end boom they explode in in peppers i i don't know why i wish they would do that in the beginning to mid-season because boy it'd be a lot easier but no not them they don't they don't do it like that <laughs> at least mine don't and they grow very big but man they're delicious and they also freeze very well look these boots are holding up i'm putting them to the test I need some heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes, they kind of look bumpy. They're delicious though, they really are. So it's sad to see the end of the tomato season coming to an end, but it's been very delicious. And we've loved it. I'm not crazy about the smell of tomato plants. I don't know about you. They smell weird. Nice to get out here. It is a beautiful fall day. Look at the woods. Pretty soon, all the leaves from up there are gonna fall. And then the garden and the rest of the yard is a sea of leaves. You're not, <laughs> if you're new here, you are not gonna believe the amount of leaves that I get. I, I can't keep up with them. It's just, it's too much. So people ask to buy them from me and I put them up for sale on my website. And of course I use them for my worms too, you know, cause they love them. Um, but I like working in the garden this time of year. Um, that's why you didn't see me in the garden a lot this summer because it's just, the heat is just, ugh. It's the only thing I like about summer is the, the fact that I can grow stuff. Other than that, mm -mm. so this time of year, the bugs start disappearing and the weather gets cooler and it's time to start building more bonfires and doing s'mores and things like that. I'm going to wear my boots all, all winter and I'm going to put them to the test. They feel warm. They feel like even in the winter here, they're going to hold up. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to continue to put them to the test. I'm going to wear them in the wormery and uh, I know they're going to do well in there. But I just want to continue to give you my honest opinion, you know. Um, <laughs> companies reach out to me and uh, I don't accept every offer that I've been getting. Because if I don't think the product is any good, I'm not going to come on here and say it is just to get them to give me whatever it is for free. I'm, I'm not doing that. But I know that these boots were good quality because I had researched them before. So I'm glad they contacted me and, you know, wanted me to try them out. Um, now I need to know if they have any clothes because <laughs> we all know I need some gardening clothes <laughs> and some worm farming clothes because 
yeah some of the stuff I have is just it's getting ratty <laughs> so we'll see um, it's gonna be fun carving that pumpkin with you um, I'm not sure if Izzy's gonna join us or not but tonight is the premiere of Hocus Pocus part two so I don't know if you're interested in Hocus Pocus but you know I love that movie and my kids loved that movie growing up and tonight's part two on Disney Plus so I'm excited to see what the Sanderson sisters are gonna be up to so look at my little basket so far it's getting full see it I have more stuff to put in here and I don't have room I'm just going to have to put it in my shirt or something, but I got a nice little bundle here. I'm surprised this um, pumpkin grew as long as it did, but it's been a good year, guys. It's been an amazing year for me, and the worms are just reproducing like wild. This is why we're getting rid of the boxes. They're just old. Like they're very old, like 13 years old or something like that. And they're just at the point where they're too brittle to like even repair. So these boxes are gonna be removed and the whole thing is gonna be flat. And I'm just gonna garden on the ground like I do over here. So it's been a good year. Good year, lots of changes compared to uh, last year. <laughs> you know, things have, uh, things that, and my career have definitely improved. Um, I'm definitely a lot happier now. I mean, I've always been a happy-go-lucky person for the most part. I mean, I'm not perfect, trust me. I, you know, I, I get angry too, just like everybody else. <laughs> But, you know, every day when I wake up, I try, I try to say, well, today's going to be a good day. And I do my best to make that happen. So, that's how I am. I know you guys know that. And thank you to all my subscribers and watching my videos. You know, YouTube monetization is really helping me. Um, at least to buy some supplies for the wormery so that I don't have to um, get in debt because I'm not. And I want to keep it that way. So that's really helping out. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, as time goes on and uh, it continues to grow. So, yeah. There's a worm guy, though, that I would love to see him reach the 1,000. His name is Rick. And his channel is Gardening with Barchuckin. And I've known Rick for a few years now. And he's really nice guy. <laughs> really nice. And he, he's doing worms just like I am. And, uh... He's doing a great job. He feeds his worms like food scraps. He also does chow once in a while. But he also does a lot of gardening videos like I do. So if you guys aren't subscribed to him, he's at, um, I checked a few days ago and he was at 791. So I would love to see him reach the 1000 before Christmas. Can you imagine what a Christmas gift that would be for Rick? So go Rick. So he's also a very nice, honest guy. And uh, you guys will like him. So I'm going to do a little more here. I'm going to end the video here because I'm not sure how long it is at this point. <laughs> and I'm going to go inside. I have to check my worms. Obviously, when I'm in there, I'll show you the boots and how they work because, you know, we need an honest opinion. And today is Friday. Today's my day off, but tomorrow I work also. So today I'm just going to get some stuff done around the house. Um... I need to go to Tractor Supply and get the pine shavings. Remember I told you I was low on pine shavings? What I like about them, at least in my area, is we could still do the pickup. So I can park outside and they'll just bring it out and put it in my car for me. So that's a win-win because even though I don't mind going in there, I just, I can't lift those things. <laughs> oh, you hear my wind chimes? How pretty. I love them. I have a wind chime back there for um, Joe's dad who passed away and for my mom who passed away. And sometimes when the breeze blows and they sing, it's just, oh, it's so pretty. I, I have such good memories of my childhood with my mom and Joe with his family, you know. So I miss her. I miss her a lot. But 
I also think of, of what she wanted me to do. And I know my mom and, you know, there's a time to mourn when someone passes away, obviously, but she'll be like, okay, that's, that's it. Let's go. Time to get on. <laughs> so <laughs> she was a very strict human mom. I love her to pieces. So that's why I cook a lot of things because a lot of the recipes that I know are from her. And, uh, I cook a lot of Cuban food because that's how I grew up and that's our tradition. But I also do Italian for Joe because, you know, I gotta, I gotta give him his stuff too. But there's a lot of crows back there. I think I told you guys, I saw, <laughs> there was a giant black animal walking over there. So I don't know what it was. So I have some bait up there <laughs> that I'm going to go put by my camera and maybe it'll return tonight and um, maybe I could catch it. Maybe it's the chupacabra. I don't know. It's probably, it walked like a predator. I will say that because I've been here long enough to know what they look like. So I'm curious to see what they are. But back there in those woods, there are strange things that happen back there. I mean, I hear like, I hear noises that you you think like, what the heck was that? Especially when you're working here in the garden. There was a season when my back gate would constantly be open and even though Joe would put a wire on it to lock it and the little thing would be locked, it would be open and we don't know why, you know? So um, that stopped for a while. I mean, I don't know. It's probably kids, I imagine, who come through the woods and who knows. Or, I mean, it could be Bigfoot. You know, you know how I am at Bigfoot. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, let's go take a walk through the trail and then I'm going to end this video. And, uh, my babies inside, my million babies inside are waiting for me. So take a look at the link below. Try them out. At least you'll get a coupon. They're definitely a lot cheaper than those other brands, Smuck and the other ones. I don't know how many there are. I, I have quite a few of them and I don't wear them for that reason because I just don't find them comfortable. But these are very comfortable. And uh, subscribe and like and press that little bell. And, you know, <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Take care. This is all slanted down and I definitely have better support with these boots. Usually I'm like sliding my way down here. You see this bridge? Guess who built it? <laughs> Joe built the bridge for me because through here water runs. And sometimes when it runs, I can't get across without making a mess. So, and there's the garden up there. So, oh, that's one thing I didn't use this year yet, my bread oven. So let's go take a walk on the trail. Yeah, these boots are definitely comfortable. I am very happy. Let's take the new part of the trail that Joe built. I can't come through here in the summer. It's the humidity and the um, mosquitoes are terrible. So I know my camera is up here. I didn't bring the bait with me. If not, I would have just done that. Um, but we'll see. Maybe tonight I'll see something. Maybe there's some scat over there from the animal. Let's see, there's my camera. There's watermelon I had. I'm always looking for footprints too, because you never know. But look, I usually slide my way down this mountain. Well, I call it a mountain, but it's really not, but it goes pretty high. And uh, I didn't this time. So where was this thing? Let me think. It was around here. It was around here. So I don't see anything. What I do see is a lot of nuts. So I think whatever it is was eating nuts or I don't know, maybe a dead animal around here. You know, I'm always finding like dead animals around here. So I don't know. So we're gonna see. Maybe I'll move the camera to there. The forest is looking really beautiful. Really beautiful. 
I always dreamed of living in a place like this because, uh, you know, Joe and I grew up in the city in New Jersey, right across the river from Manhattan. And uh, I hated it. I hate noise and I hated city life. It was convenient, but zero privacy. And uh, I'm just not a fan of noise. So I would watch Little House on the Prairie when I was little. And I'd say I'm gonna have that life one day. And then I met Joe and you know, we started dating, got engaged, got married a few years later. And um, his company offered him a position in Houston and we took it and we moved out to the suburbs. It wasn't country, but it was better than the city we were in. But the heat just was just, the heat was awful. I hated it. It was my Bigfoot fire pit. So then when he got offered a position in Indiana, he said, there's country life out there. And I'm like, yes, let's go. So we did. And we've been here for 14, 15 years now. I don't even know. There's my bread oven. I haven't used it this year. Just lack of time, you know. So this is like my own little area here. Joe built that for me. And I kind of did that fire pit. But honestly, I think I did it too big. That's why we call it Bigfoot. I want to make it just a little smaller. And uh, uh, I sit out here sometimes, you know, and I, I make a fire. And I, I've done bread baking videos out here. And uh, I watch all your videos. <laughs> I swear I'm addicted to YouTube. But I love it. I've been on YouTube for years. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to head back to the garden now and go back up to the house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's different from what I usually do, but you know, I am the garden and worm lady. So I like to do both, you know? I like to teach you both because I've been at it for a long time and uh, different types of videos too. So if you're interested in any of my other videos, just go find them. I made a video last year on how to make a cherry jam and it was delicious. And I also make my own cranberry sauce and I can it. So um, there's a whole world of things to do out there. And uh, it's good to explore and try new things. So there's a bridge. So I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you guys next time again. <laughs> Bye.